Coming up, the Bird family continues their underwater exploration of the Azores. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. Isolated islands of the Azores rise from the great depths of the Atlantic Ocean to peaks surpassing 2,000 meters above sea level. Located way out in the Atlantic, the Azores archipelago consists of nine different islands, each a former volcano growing at the intersection of three major tectonic plates. The archipelago is part of Portugal, the closest major landmass, 1,400 kilometers to the east. Aboard the Liveaboard Water and Wind, the Bird family is heading six hours from the main island of Sao Miguel to explore a remote, uninhabited group of rocky outcroppings known as the Formigas Islets. Joining us on this adventure, Ellen Kylarts, a well-known British Belgian underwater photographer, and Arlindo Sarau, our host and expert on diving in Portugal. We can hardly wait to get into the crystal clear water. They told us there's going to be friendly groupers. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. What do you think? Back to that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the water is so blue. Like most of the Azores, the bottom topography is rocky with a carpet of swaying algae. A triggerfish seems strangely curious. As we swim around the rocks looking for stuff, we find something moving in a hole. Soon, a dusky grouper pops out to investigate us. These curious fish can grow to one and a half meters. He seems to love swimming in and out of the soft, algae-covered rocks. But when he finally tires of our attention, he swims off into the blue. Meanwhile, we have attracted more than a little attention from the local triggerfish population. They have sharp teeth, and they're biting the cameras. We swim away from the rocks to avoid them. In the distance, a mobula ray passes by. 
We hope to see more on the next dive, but for now, our dive is over. So at first we thought it was kind of funny that the triggerfish were attacking us, um, but they've gotten a little bit more and more bold. And here's one that took a giant bite out of my float on my light today. And here's another bite out of my other float. And I'm just thinking that if they bite your skin, they're gonna take a piece out of you. This is war. After lunch, we move the boat over to Dalabarat Seamount. A seamount is a feature of the seafloor that rises near the surface but not above it, sort of like an underwater island. This place is known for mobula rays. We begin our dive by finding a huge school of spawning wrasse. The males and females rise up together in the water column and release eggs and sperm in unison. It looks like a little puff of smoke. over the edge of the wall following Ellen and dive master Mateo. Mateo points out some black coral. Most black coral isn't actually black. Then he leads us into a cave-like cavity. In the dark recesses of the back, Mateo points out a slipper lobster. They only come out at night, so they avoid our lights. Lacking big claws, the slipper lobster looks a lot more like a cockroach than a lobster. Heading back out into the blue, I'm mesmerized by the black coral. This species likes deeper water, so I can get a few shots, but I can't stay too long. Heading back up into shallower water, I come across a stingray in a nice hiding spot. It doesn't take long for her to realize she's been spotted. Then I find a group of ornate wrasses having a party. And it takes a minute to figure out what's going on. They're raiding the nest of a damselfish and eating all his eggs. The male damselfish guards his nest, but he's no match for the overwhelming numbers of wrasses that have descended upon him. Soon we start making our way towards the surface. As we finish our safety stop, a mobile array makes a pass. Mobulas are basically smaller versions of manta rays. 
this particular species of mobula is known as the sickle fin devil ray, probably the coolest name ever. They're unique among rays in that they feed more than a mile down in the freezing cold darkness. But they return to shallow water to warm up for a few hours between deep dives. And when they're warming up, they can be quite curious. They seem to love to follow our sailboat right up at the surface where the water is warmest. the Formigas gave us a rare glimpse into the unspoiled and pristine underwater world of the Azores. But the wonders continue as we sail forth on our Azores live aboard adventure in the blue world. Guys, if you want to learn more about diving in Portugal, check out portugaldive.com. They're the Portugal diving experts.